are going to be right now switching over to start the Pokemon Red Any Percent Run. And what you're going to see now is a palette switch as we go through the start of Pokemon Red Any Percent. That actually setting up one of the palettes is faster by a couple of clock cycles. And this is very important because Pokemon Red has been optimized so much that it's kicked off the first cycle war it's not even frame wars frame wars are so 2019 2020 we're in the cycle wars now so you're gonna see some precision levels of play beyond anything in any other tassing it's it's so precise and i can't even show you how precise it is because there is supposed to be a hard reset here that is cycle accurate that I, I literally cannot even show you it on the actual console. I am going to have to pause because this is going to be in two parts. We're going to have a second part right now after an intermission because the first half is already done. It, it, we have to do with this save corruption. And normally you would hit the reset switch to corrupt the save as it's starting. But there's no way to do that programmatically on the GameCube. So I'm pulling the cartridge and I'm going to flash the cart to the stage for part two. And I will be back in like a minute. And now we're going to put red back in for part two of red any percent. You're going to see an action replay disc as we go through here. The action replay disc is how we load Swiss. Swiss is a homebrew launcher for the GameCube. Now that we have complete control of the GameCube via homebrew, we load up Game Boy Interface. And Game Boy Interface is the secret sauce that lets us play back tasses on the Game Boy Player. So now you're going to see live using Game Boy Interface speedrun part two of Pokemon Red at any percent assuming that the Game Boy Player works correctly. There is a little bit of a glitch here. Just let me uh, get my cart to tilt correctly, and it'll, uh, it'll all line up. There we go. It should be working now. Getting the cart seated correctly in the Game Boy Player is a bit finicky sometimes. But you can see now a pallet did not get... Uh, switched at the beginning of this part of the task. And you can see that the save corrupted state has been properly set up on the cart for part two. And we are going through in a item underflow menu, doing some Pokemon party swaps. And now we are there. We're in the Hall of Fame with no Pokemon in our party. <laughs> And one of the cool things those setups do is that they make it so that the text is shorter when you uh, talk to Oak and get his message. Now, this task that you just saw was created by Alyosha Tass, Thunderax, and a whole bunch of other people, including Casual Poke Player. Casual Poke Player has actually recently improved this task even further and has shaved a few more cycles off. So... This one uh, is one that I showed back in August. The new one that was done by Casual Poke Player doesn't play back on the Game Boy Player. It was designed for the Game Boy Color. Uh, the Game Boy Player is based off of the Game Boy Advance, so there's some different timings involved there too. So I can't show you the newest version of Red Any Percent, but this is a very, very fast uh, version of Red Any Percent that was created as part of that cycle war. And you should see now after this coming up for part two of the Thai Covenant 3 block, the Pokemon, I, I believe we're doing Blue NSC next. Mm -hmm. 